Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Hillary Clinton has canceled her campaign trip to California after her health scare in New York yesterday. And so far, her team isn't talking about her schedule for the rest of the week. Clinton's problems in New York have raised concerns about her health, and they came as she was facing another controversy over her attack on half of Donald Trump's supporters. George Thomas has the story. More than an hour after arriving for the 9-11 memorial service at Ground Zero, the 68-year-old presidential nominee suddenly decided to leave the ceremony. Clinton is seen standing on a curb near the World Trade Center as an assistant holds her left arm. As Clinton's van pulls up, she wobbles, is unable to stand, then appears to lose her balance. The video taken by a bystander shows Clinton's knees buckling, almost causing her to fall to the ground. But agents quickly grab her, and she was then rushed to daughter Chelsea's Manhattan apartment. About two hours later, she emerged waving to reporters. How are you feeling, Secretary? How are you feeling? Great. Great. What, ha what happened? It's a beautiful day in New York. It's a beautiful day in New York. Clinton's team originally said she was overheated, but her doctor later said she had been diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. <coughs> <coughs> The incident is again sparking questions about Clinton's health after suffering from coughing fits in recent weeks. The health concern came just a day after another political problem for Clinton as she had to walk back part of this controversial comment she made on Friday about Trump supporters. You know, to just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. On Saturday, Clinton apologized, saying that calling half of Trump's voters those names was wrong. But Trump called her remarks a grotesque attack on American voters. His running mate put it this way. Hillary, they are not a basket of anything. They are Americans, and they deserve your respect. Clinton's apology and health concerns come as polls have shown the race tightening in recent weeks. George Thomas, CBN News. Well, it's hard to run for president. I, I don't envy anybody trying to do this. Talk about a blood sport. Uh, people want to take you out. And then on top of it, to have pneumonia in the middle of the campaign makes it even harder. Well, Donald Trump told CBN News that if he doesn't win the presidency in November, Republicans won't win another election. Trump spoke to CBN's David Brody Friday at the Values Voters Summit in Washington. He explained why he wants to win the White House for evangelicals. And here's David's report. Donald Trump received a warm reception from an evangelical crowd that he desperately needs to win the White House. Backstage, he told us he doesn't want to let them down. I want to win for the evangelicals because they have been so good to me. Trump gave them plenty to cheer, like supporting school choice. School choice also means that parents can home school their children. And he trotted out a Bible verse that he says sums up what he's trying to achieve. It's from 1 John chapter 4. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. In our interview, Trump transitioned from the Bible to immigration with a dire warning for the GOP of what could happen this November if he loses. I think this will be the last election that the Republicans have a chance of winning because you're going to have people flowing across the borders. You're going to have illegal immigrants coming in and they're going to be legalized and they're going to be able to vote. And once that all happens, you can forget it. Trump says evangelicals need to reject Clinton or they will face bad times. She's a bad person. She's a person that uh, has done a horrible job. Her judgment is flawed. As far as the evangelicals are concerned, you, could, you can just forget it. Uh, she would be actually a disaster. Trump hopes the voting group represented here can help him avoid his own disaster this fall. David Brody, CBN News, Washington. If you're not registered to vote, please register. Please participate. I know there's a large temptation to send it out this year, but please don't.
please let your voice be heard and be registered to vote and participate in this election. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club after this. More than a third of millennials are living with their parents, mainly because they can't afford to live on their own. But not Jordan and Aaron Zatoon. This young couple are already successful real estate brokers who never worry about a downturn in the market. That's because they've discovered a financial strategy that has increased their profits for the past six years. Jordan and Aaron Zatoon work hard and play hard. They stay fit, love a good meal, and like many millennials, they go online a lot and stay connected through social media. But both admit they need to be careful because it's easy to get sucked into a selfie mindset. There's just a lot of people just trying to get and gather and absorb as much as they can for self-interest and, and to, to look, look good as far as outfits or where they live or car they drive. Everyone's hyper-competitive and everyone's trying to get ahead. The Zatoons try hard to stay focused on other things. We prioritized when we first got married, God is number one, and then family number two, and then um, our jobs and career number three. And while they're very successful real estate brokers, their goal isn't to build a big bank account so they can buy things for themselves. Instead, they choose to invest in promoting God and giving to others. I believe that's what the Lord's put me here for. The Zatoons tithe to their church and are CBN partners. They increase their giving to CBN on a regular basis. I made a, a covenant in my heart with the Lord that I would that I would give five percent more a year, and in doing that, I I just it was a kind of a step of faith, and I realized, well, He really is my provider, so I can trust Him with these extra little bits every month and every year. Since giving more, they've seen their profits consistently increase for the past six years. Jordan and Aaron credit their success to God and encourage others to put God first in their lives and give. We're not any different or any more special than the guy next to us. I think we've just found this key to the kingdom in a way to um, partner with God and what He's doing on the earth. I think it's about your heart posture towards the Lord um, and towards the thing that you're giving to. The Zatoons especially like giving to CBN because of how CBN uses social media to share stories of God's love. I repost them on my Facebook and it's just like a nice tool that the Lord's using nowadays to plant seeds in people and just maybe reach out to them. Well, I just know in my life that um, the Lord and He's filled me with His love and, and His Spirit and it just makes me come alive and I know that that really is everything in life and so if I can partner with God and bringing that same message to millions of people across the world through what CBN is doing then that's just what an amazing opportunity and a privilege. I would encourage others to be partners with CBN because it really has brought so much blessing to our life. Like there's honestly no better organization out there to give to as far as Christian ministries. Of this wonderful couple, they're just starting out right because they're putting the principles to practice. When you live according, according to what God tells you to do, then the blessings come. Here's the promise from Matthew 25. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. And Jordan and Aaron are living that abundance. You can too. All you have to do is follow the same principle. Well, Randy and Karen Parler lived a lavish lifestyle for the first two years of their marriage. If they wanted to go somewhere or buy something, they simply said, charge it, using one of their 20 credit cards. Before long, they were drowning in debt, but instead of going under, here's how they ended up on top of their finances. Randy and Karen Parler worked hard to build their careers and live debt free. But they say it was applying God's principles about finances and giving that made all the difference. He has blessed us beyond what we could ever thought of. But as career-driven newlyweds, Randy and Karen had very different attitudes about money and success. I wanted the same things I saw other people around me, you know, wanting or in, in getting. It was normal, you know, the American dream. In the first two years they were married, they lived a life filled with parties, travel, and lavish spending all on credit. 
I say I had probably about 20 cars, and that was a way to get the things that I wanted. It was so easy, and you know, you pulled it out, charged it. Before long, they had $63,000 in credit card debt, two large car loans, and a hefty monthly mortgage. We were in that, you know, big debt bondage. It is very enticing, and we fell into that trap. But the decision to change their direction came a year later. Randy's brother died unexpectedly, leading Randy to take a deeper look at how he was living. I knew at that moment that I needed to give my life to the Lord. Randy began to search the Bible, and he found that God had a lot to say about how to live and how to handle money. I felt the Lord's strong impression, and he said, you should start tithing. Randy was eager to learn more about God's financial principles. He found many of the answers watching the 700 Club. As Pat taught, the things that he talked about, the law of reciprocity, he talked about budgeting. Randy designed a strict budget that included tithing, paying off debt, and getting rid of credit cards. But Karen wasn't ready to give up her plastic. I can't live like that. Are you kidding me? I get paid once a month, and you want me to go the whole month on this amount of money? Soon, Karen accepted Christ, too. She also got on board with Randy's plan to use God's principles for their money. We decided to get out of debt because, one, that is not God's plan for us. We're not going to be slaves to the lender. At first, Randy wasn't sure how they could keep up with bills, pay off their debt, and tithe. When 10 plus percent is not already included in what you do, yes, it's a radical change. But after several months, the couple was amazed by their bottom line. And I can't say that I know exactly how we didn't miss something because on paper, it looked as if we just wouldn't be able to pay everything. After six years of diligently following God's principles, they paid off their $63,000 in debt and then their mortgage. Where you can see God, you know, really working, we had paid everything off. Our income is probably tripled. Being out of debt, we have peace. We can help others. That's why in 2004, they started giving to CBN at the Thousand Club level. You know, they were doing things in a lot of areas that digging wells, you know, providing medical attention, establishing homes for orphans. We want to see the work that CBN does. That's why we give. They know success isn't about what they have. It's about what they give. And ask God to implant a desire in your heart to give more than to have stuff. And, and to know in your heart that God will take care of all your need according to his riches and glory. You know, that's all you have to do is to be faithful in what he asks you to do. Blessings will come. He will give you the desires of your heart. Just be faithful in what he asks you to do. When you do that, that's when the blessings come. Now, some of you need a budget, just like uh, Randy and Karen put together. Some of you need some plastic surgery where you take your credit cards and you just cut them up, say, I don't want to use that. I don't want to get into that debt hole again. I, I don't want to be there. And here is the principle. It's from Malachi chapter 3. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. And here Randy and Karen have proven that. They went from extreme debt, 20, 20 credit cards, to paying off their mortgage, paying off all that debt, uh, tripling their income, all because they said, we're going to apply the principles. Principle number one, tithe, 10% of your income, tithe it. Uh, find things that God shows you to say, okay, here, I'm going to give this and, and do it faithfully. Don't let it be an on again, off again thing. Do it faithfully. That's the faithful application of these principles is what leads to the success. Then uh, uh, I call it the 80-10-10 principle, where you budget to live on 80% of your income. Uh, you then pay yourself 10%. If you're not saving for your future, if you're not accumulating income, 
uh, then you will always be li living paycheck to paycheck. And then make sure you put God first. Another 10% goes to God. If you live by that 80-10-10 rule, then what you saw with Randy and Karen can happen to you. Now I've got some wonderful news. Some existing CBN partners say they love giving to CBN and they want to challenge others to give. So till the end of the hour, they will match your giving dollar for dollar, 32,300 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. We know that your word over them will be true. You will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. And for those watching, making decisions now, bless them, encourage them, be with them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 32,300 is the challenge amount. 40 minutes, 44 seconds is the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month. That breaks out to 65 cents a day. Some of you can give higher levels. We've got 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. And then 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year. And that breaks out to $84 a month at whatever level. Now's the time to do it, to say, yes, I want to live according to the 80-10-10 rule. Here's my pledge, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, no matter what you're facing, you need the Word of God in your life, and nothing is more powerful than hearing the spoken Word. That's why Pat's recorded the Gospel of John on CD, and now we're offering this as our gift to you when you join the 700 Club. Take a look. Hello, this is Pat Robertson. I've just finished recording one of the most beloved books in all the Bible, the Gospel according to John. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. My hope is that you will use this recording to allow the Word of God to abide in you. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Listen to it again and again and speak the words along with me. Let these great passages fill your heart as the Word of God transforms your mind and builds your faith. Receive the power of God's life-giving Word, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson, available now. May God richly bless you as you meditate on Jesus. My copy is in the CD player in my car, and I love listening to this on the way to work, on the way to errands that I run throughout the day. If you're taking a trip, it's great. The Gospel of John is two CDs for you, and we think it'll be a great blessing to you. At the same time, you'll be a great blessing to others as you join with thousands in becoming a 700 Club member, and you do that by calling our toll-free number. It's 1-800-700-7000. So go to your phone and call now. We'll get the jo Gospel of John out to you right away, and we know it will bless your life. Gordon? Fifteen years ago, Scott Miller was unemployed, on welfare, and living with his wife and five kids in a cramped trailer. The good news is, he didn't stay there. Scott went from relying on food stamps to becoming the mayor of his city. Scott Miller of San Jacinto, California, has a hard time believing his own success story. If somebody would have told me years ago, living on welfare, one day I'd be mayor of a city, I would have said, you're talking to the wrong guy. Scott credits his surprising success to a life principle he and his wife Linda embraced over 15 years ago. I believe 100% giving was the foundational key to get me out of the place I was in. That place was unemployed and on welfare, with a wife and five kids to support. It began when Scott was laid off from what he thought was a secure job in the aviation industry. We had five kids and our two youngest were still in diapers. And how do we make ends meet? I started looking for work. So it was very tough because here I was a guy that was used to working hard, getting out there. Scott and Linda cut every expense they could and moved into a cramped trailer to save money. Even then, they had to rely on food stamps. We actually had coupon books where you stood at the register and you tore off a coupon that said $10. 
It is humbling, it is difficult. Several years into their struggle, Scott and Linda heard a message at church that changed the way they looked at money. We started learning about this whole idea that the Lord wanted us to be givers, to be able to take even out of our need and give. I didn't know how we would do it, but I've always believed that if God said it, it was true. The couple began tithing to their church. They even gave to their church's food bank. Because we started to realize that God had a different way. But change would come slowly, and at times, Scott became frustrated. I remember thinking, what is my future really gonna be like? Is this ever gonna change? Over the next several years, Scott and Linda continued to tithe faithfully. And not only to tithe, they increased their giving and joined the 700 Club. Before long, Scott started landing more contract jobs. A slow trickle, yes. God was bringing the proof that we could give and we could test him and he would come through. Finally, Scott got a full-time job with the County of San Jacinto as a computer engineer. The couple eagerly got off welfare. Eventually, they traded in their trailer for a new house in the beautiful San Jacinto Valley. It was a marathon, not a race. Very incremental. I didn't go from food stamps to having a great job overnight. It's like God spoon-fed me and took me step by step through the process of trusting Him more and more. Within two years, Scott earned two promotions and raises. So the Millers increased their giving to CBN. When you give to CBN, it's one of the best investments you'll ever make. I can't imagine not giving to the 700 Club. You could see that it's going to a good work because they're showing you the proof. In 2010, Scott followed God's direction into city leadership. He won his first election to become mayor of San Jacinto. Today, he's still serving his city as deputy mayor. When you give, God opens up your hands and he says, whatever you have in your hands, I'll bless it and you'll do the amazing with it. The number one thing that you gotta learn when you start tithing is this. God's not trying to take something from you. He's trying to get something to you. Amazing story, amazing turnaround, all because he made the decision, I'm going to live according to God's principles. I'm going to give. And through that process, God spoon fed him. It wasn't an overnight thing. It wasn't an instant thing. We're not talking about get rich quick schemes, anything like that. We're saying that if you live in accordance with the way God has spelled it out in the Bible, if you do these principles, then you will have this promise from Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. If you want that, you just have to do the same thing. And if you want to start a life of giving, all you have to do is call us. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work and we send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or log on to cbn.com slash give on the giving page there. If you give monthly, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Hi, Gordon. Well, if you're like me, you want to spend more time reading the Word of God, but let's face it, sometimes life just gets in the way. Well, with this new CD recording from Pat Robertson, you can listen to the Word of God when you're driving to work, running errands, exercising, or just relaxing. Watch this. In the beginning was the Word. From CBN, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Gospel of John. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Read by Pat Robertson. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish. Let the spoken Word of God transform your mind and increase your faith. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. Receive the power of God's life-giving Word. Peace I leave with you. 
My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. The Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson, available now. I love the Gospel of John. You know, more than any other gospel, it's the gospel that really reveals who Jesus is, the Son of God, the light of the world, the God who died for you and me. And we want to encourage you with the reading of the Word of God. It'll transform your mind. It'll build your faith. It'll do so much. And, uh, and you can just listen to it in your car. Well, we have it for you right here. It's the Gospel of John read by Pat Robertson. Let the spoken Word of God change your life because that's what the Word of God does. This is our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? So glad you asked. Just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. Now, if you're already a 700 Club partner at our $20 a month level, I just want to say thank you so very much. You are making a huge difference around the world. But I'd like to challenge you right now to go to your phones and do more. We can all do a little bit more. Let's take it up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, hey, we're going to bless you back. We're going to give you three of our dynamic new teachings, readings of the Gospel of John by Pat Robertson, one for you, two to give away. If you can go a little bit higher, a lot of us can. Let's go up to our Thousand Club level. That's just uh, $84 a month or higher. When you do that, we are going to bless you with five of our new teaching, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. This is our gift when you call right now. We're in the middle of a $132,000 challenge with 30 minutes left on the clock, so we need you to go to your phones right now. Terry? Well, today, Samira is always on her feet. She's dancing for joy. But when we first met her, she could barely walk, and her condition broke her poor mom's heart. Take a look. Samira's eyes sparkle when she smiles. The spirited seven-year-old from Western Ukraine seems to have no cares in the world. The truth is, Samira was born with two club feet, a serious disability that causes severe pain and limits her movement. Her mother, Nora, suffers too. I feel pain because she's my child. I can't look at her without crying, but I can't do anything for her. I can't pay for the surgery that would allow her to walk and run and play like other children. Samira rarely cries, but this day, her tears fall when she sees her mother cry. I have one dream, for Samira to be healthy and walk normally. Yet Nora knows her dream is unlikely to come true. This poor family can barely afford food. And like most people in this village, Nora and her husband are uneducated and their job opportunities are limited. My husband is hired by people to do jobs like cutting grass or digging graves and is only paid two to four dollars a day. That's why Nora was overjoyed when CBN's Orphan's Promise opened a school nearby. She enrolled Samira right away. But we knew that Samira needed much more than reading and writing skills. She needed surgery that her parents could never afford. So it wasn't long before we located a skilled surgeon and paid the full cost of Samira's surgery and post-operative care. 11 months later, when Samira's cast was removed, her legs and feet were normal. My child can do everything. What else could I ever want? Thank you, because it all is because of you. I can walk and run. I can play with other children. I even take dancing lessons at my school. Thank you for giving me straight legs. Can you imagine barely being able to walk any distance at all, barely being able to walk? Today she's dancing and she is on solid ground because of your kindness and generosity if you're a 700 Club member. That's the kind of difference you're making in lives all around the world. And when we step into someone's need like that, we bring the love of Jesus and a picture of who he is and how he cares for people. Will you do that with us? 
a moment ago, Wendy was talking about going up to the next club level. This is a great opportunity to do that. We have a challenge going. We'd love for you to step up to the next club level and know that you're being someone God is using to touch and change lives around the world. Our number's toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. We want you to call that number right now. You can hear phones ringing in the background, but there are lots of them available. So give us a call and just say, I'd like to join the 700 Club and here's the level I'd like to join at. Gordon? Well, I've got some wonderful news. Some partners from Virginia say we want to increase this challenge. We want to take it up to 132,300. Wow, okay. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing. We ask for blessing and increase on the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge to increase it. Lord, open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. And for those watching, making decisions, just speak to them. Let your peace guide them, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 132,300 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join with us. If you want to see the gospel preached around the world, uh, join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of CBN International to do just that. We now have 20 production centers located strategically uh, on, in different regions where we train Christians how to do Christian television in their own language. Another portion goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people, and you're a part of all of it when you join. So now's the time to do it. 132,000 is the challenge amount. 25 minutes, 31 seconds left on the clock. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, in China, a young girl drew pictures, picked wildflowers, and made wreaths to celebrate the birth of her new baby brother. Then when he was born, all the celebrations stopped, and suddenly his family became desperate for help. Chun Yu could hardly wait to meet her baby brother. I picked wild flowers in the mountains and made a wreath he could wear when he got home from the hospital, and I drew a picture of him looking really handsome. But sadly, Soon Song was born with a cleft lip and palate. He was in critical condition and looked like a tiny squirrel. Mr. Gao worried he wouldn't be able to afford surgery for Sun Song because as a farmer, he only makes $9 a week. And his wife can't work because she's almost completely deaf. I just hoped for a miracle. Sun Song's cleft lip and palate made it hard for him to eat or drink. It was so bad that I couldn't get close to him. I never gave him the gift I made him. I threw away the wreath and just ripped up the drawing. Meanwhile, Chun Yu came up with a plan. I saved everything I could for surgery for Sun Song. I never spent any money on drinks, even on hot days. But when my dad said it would cost thousands of dollars, I cried. Sun Song stayed inside, malnourished and dehydrated. The few times he went out, people laughed at him and called him a monster. I felt so sorry for my poor little brother. I wanted to protect him. Then a flood drowned the Gao's crops, draining their income. All hope for surgery was lost. I knelt down and begged the doctors to help Sun Song, but they said no. They didn't care about us because we were poor. Shortly after this, CBN came to Sun Song's village. We told the Gao's we'd be happy to provide cleft lip and palate surgery free of charge. It seems like our world immediately went from cloudy to sunny. The surgery was so good, Sun Song won't even have scars. He's finally starting to grow and can go to school. I know he'll have a good life. Now Sun Song loves to wear the wreaths his sister makes, and he looks as cute as the pictures she draws. Thank you for helping my brother. I know I have never seen you, but you have shown me what true love is. Thank you for bringing us all hope. May you be happy forever. Imagine little children praying for you, asking God to bless you because of what you did for their family. 
That can happen when you join the 700 Club. And if you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You're part of that. You're part of that wonderful surgery to transform that little boy. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. Just call 1-800-700-7000. You can give at 700 Club level, which is $20 a month. We also have 700 Club Gold at $40 or more a month. And then 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, now's the time to do it. We have 132000 on the challenge amount. We need to hear from you. We want to go way over the top. Let's get the red number up. We've got 64000 left on that. We're more than halfway. We need to hear from you. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Do you want to read the Bible more, but you just don't know where to begin? Well, we've got the answer for you right here. A CD set of the Gospel of John, read by our very own Pat Robertson. Now you can listen to the Word of God wherever you go. Take a look. Let the spoken Word of God transform your mind and increase your faith with the Gospel of John. For God has so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Experience the power of God's life-changing Word in the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. My hope is that you will use this recording to allow the Word of God to abide in you. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Find assurance of God's love and plan for you as you listen again and again. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. May God richly bless you as you meditate on Jesus. Fill your heart and mind with the promises of God. Get the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. Available now. If you've never read the Bible, and a lot of us haven't, um, this is a great place to start. The Gospel of John, many say, is the book you need to start with because you not only learn who God is, but how much He loves you. That's right, God loves you so much, and He wants you to be encouraged by His Word. We want to encourage you with the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. Fill your drive time with God's Word. Hey, that's a lot better than road rage, isn't it? We want you to have this. This is our gift. When you call right now and just say yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Just 65 cents a day. Hey, we can all find 65 cents, $20 a month to literally change the world and it'll end up changing you too. This is our gift when you call right now and just say yes. And if you're already a 700 Club mar partner and you've already said yes, I'd like you to say double yes. I'd like you to go up to our gold level, which is just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to send you three of our new teaching. Well, it's not really a teaching so much as it is a reading of the Gospel of John. Uh, we're going to send you three of these. If you can go to our 1,000 Club level, that's $84 a month or higher. We're going to send you five. Think of all the people you know right now that would benefit from just hearing the Word of God. This is our gift when you call and just say yes. I'm going to throw it over to Gordon. Well, Joanne Stodgill is in her 80s, yet she remains active every day, helping people all over the world without even le leaving her living room. Here's how she does it. Every day, 84-year-old Joanne Sodgehill gets on her computer to pray for people all over the world who need hope and encouragement. When you pray for somebody, there's three involved. There's you and God and the person you're praying for. And that's so personal. I have to look for opportunities to witness for, for God all the time. She found one of those opportunities when she saw CBN helping people rise above their circumstances. CBN is fantastic in getting people set up so that they can be proud of themselves and make their own money, earn their own way instead of just taking a handout. Joanne started giving to CBN as a Thousand Club member. Then one day, while watching a telethon, she doubled her giving. I saw this little child trying to help the mother get this dirty water. And I thought, Lord, they They'll get sick and they'll die. They can't, they can't drink that water. They need a well with clear water. So and the Holy Spirit just spoke to my heart. Well, what are you going to do about it? 
And I think, this is only God. God only works this way, where He reaches out and touches people by my obedience, plus everybody else that gives. Joanne also sees how her gifts are helping her great-grandchildren learn more about God and His teachings through CBN's Superbook. I learned from Superbook uh, about God that um, he, he can do everything. You just need to listen and learn from Him. It excites me and blesses me, and I'm investing in their eternity, in their eternal life. And it's this same desire for people all around the world that Joanne shares with CBN. I'm very happy, very happy being a CBN partner. I feel like I'm a part of a wonderful big family, and their only main concern is spreading the Word of God and helping those in need. And I'm a part of that, and that's a blessing. Be a part of it. Join the 700 Club. Call us, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, you can count on me. We've got 132,000 on the challenge. The red number is 34,000. That's the amount left with 16 minutes and seven seconds on the clock. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? 90% of the homes in Denham Springs, Louisiana were ravaged by floodwaters. For four weeks, Operation Blessing has been on the scene. We've sent out over 1,500 volunteers, served over 13,500 meals, and delivered five truckloads of emergency relief and supplies. And we are still there, also providing something that no amount of relief can supply. The flooding in Denham Springs, Louisiana was unexpected, widespread, and devastating to the families hit hardest. When I got up, I seen it coming towards us fast. The river was running through our house. We didn't know the flood was coming till it was almost in the backyard. It came up on us pretty quick, but... That's my hole inside of my house. It's, everything was ruined. Operation Blessing was quick to send in food and supplies. We set up a mobile command center where people could get hot meals and sign up for volunteer help. I'm so thankful and blessed that y'all did come. Had just done a, a great job saving us in a matter of hours, did what it would have taken me several months to do. And in some cases, God is using Operation Blessing for much more. Operation Blessing came by today. Not only did they fix my house, but one of their volunteers laid hands on me and took all the pain away today. Operation Blessing is standing with the people of Louisiana in their darkest hour. I just want to thank Operation Blessing for the work they did today, because I feel 100% better. I've accepted God today. I've accepted Jesus today. When this morning I woke up, I was an atheist. Today I believe in Jesus. And I just want to thank y'all. You know, nothing can feel more alone than when you're going through something like that. And then friends show up and they care and they stay. We're still there. It's something that Operation Blessing does here and all around the world. We care about people at their greatest point of need and it's possible because you're a part of that. So we say thank you to you. If you're just joining the 700 Club or maybe you're, you're joining the next club level, would you do it using something we call Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. It's really pretty wonderful. You don't have to remember. You don't have to have envelopes or stamps on hand. It's all done for you. You can stop it whenever you want. But it saves up some administrative costs so that even more of your gift can go right into reaching the needs of folks like you just saw down in Louisiana. So when you call, will you say, I want to join the 700 Club? Let us know what club level you'd like to join at and then say, I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. When you lose, use Pledge, Pledge Express, we're going to send you a gift every month. You're going to receive a teaching from us that we think will be a blessing to you. It's called Power for Living, and we'll be sending it out your way when you use Pledge Express in joining the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000. Call now. Gordon? Well, little boys love superheroes. That's one of the reasons Carrie and Neil Rosema were drawn to CBN's animated series, Superbook. They wanted their sons to have the ultimate role model for their superhero, and that's exactly what they got. With a growing family, Carrie and Neil Rosima are careful about what their sons watch on TV. Our children are at the age where they're fascinated with superheroes, and the, the world will put out superheroes for one that aren't real, 
and for two that you can't believe in. That's why the Rosimas became members of the Superbook DVD Club. Superbook is a documentary on real superheroes. Jesus is a real superhero. Joseph is a superhero. Every story is about a superhero that has changed the world. It was like the heroes that they had kind of worshipped before started to become the heroes of the Bible, and Jesus being the big one. Their oldest son, Judge, agrees. I like Revelations because Jesus fighted this big snake. Superbook is more than just entertainment for the boys. With every new episode, they learn more about the Bible. I think for a child, it makes all the difference in the world uh, to see it lived out and for them to be able to relate. Because I can read them stories all the time, but to have it reenacted and related for children is huge. I like it because it teaches about Jesus. It brings the word to life for the, for the boys. And once we read the scriptures, it helps them to kind of get a picture of what we just read. Carrie and Neil especially appreciate how Superbook reinforces the same Christian values they're teaching. It helps me be a good boy and it helps me be a good kid so mom could teach me everything about it. When we started watching Superbook in the home, it was like the spiritual temperature in our home just went up, up through the roof. With such a young family, Neil and Carrie plan on keeping Superbook around for a long time. And they know that what their sons learned today is preparing them for the future. What I love about Superbook is it really teaches boys where real power comes from, how to really be men of God. The values that Superbook teaches my children is how to take biblical principles and apply them to real life situations, uh, to show compassion, to show forgiveness, to show love. It teaches them how to be more like Jesus, and that's the most important thing. Thank you, CBM, for making Superbook. You're more than welcome. It's our joy to take the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. Uh, you can literally change a culture by just getting children the stories of the Bible so they learn the principles, they know who the real heroes are, and they can trust in God. If you want to be a part of it, call us. 1-800-700-7000. Just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. We've got an update on the challenge. Some partners from Alabama and Virginia have joined together to say 7,700. They want to add that to this challenge. That takes it up to a nice even 140,000. And let's pray. Lord, we just ask for a blessing over this. And we ask for blessing especially for those who are watching right now. Be with them, encourage them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 140,000 is the challenge. Uh, nine minutes and four seconds on the clock. Call us now. We want to go way over the top on this. Uh, well, red number is just $10,000 left, so please call us now. We wanna, don't want to miss out on any of this, but we also want to go way over the top so we can help more people around the world, so we can preach the gospel around the world. You're a part of all of it when you join with us. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? I like those nice even numbers, $140,000 challenge right now that we're in with just eight minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Well, nothing increases your faith like the Word of God. And the best way to fill your heart and mind with God's promises is by hearing the Word spoken out loud. That's why Pat has recorded this two CD set of the Gospel of John, one of the most powerful books of the Bible. In the beginning was the Word. From CBN, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. For God has so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Let the spoken word of God transform your mind and increase your faith. Receive the power of God's life-giving word, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. Available now. 
The Gospel of John is not only one of the most powerful books in the Bible, it's also one of the most beloved, and that's because it really reveals who Jesus is, his sacrifice on the cross, and his great love for you and me. We want to encourage you with this new reading, The Gospel of John, by our very own Pat Robertson. When you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. If you're already there, I just want to say thank you so much. We can't do it without you, and you already know that you're being a great blessing. But if, if you'd like to be an even bigger blessing, hey, let's do it. Let's go up to our gold level, just $40 a month. If you do that, we're going to bless you back with three of our new recordings, The Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson, one for you, two to give away. Uh, if you can do more, let's go up to our 1,000 Club level, just $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five. And just think of all the people that would benefit from hearing the Gospel of John, people that might not have time to read the Bible, but they can certainly put this in their car and, and listen to it on the way to work or when they're doing errands. This is a great way to get the Word of God down in your spirit. Well, this is our gift when you call us right now. Terry. Faya knew better. Still, she was so thirsty, she drank from used water bottles that others had thrown away. It was either drink that or drink from a muddy creek. Eventually, that dirty water made her so sick she had to be hospitalized. 12-year-old Faya always looked for used plastic bottles, not to recycle, but to find the tiniest bit of water she could drink. My mouth and throat are dry. So even if the water in the bottle is a little yellow, I drink it. This is Faya's mom. The village children told me that they saw Faya pick up a used bottle. I was so shocked. But I don't have the money to buy clean water. Every morning, Faya and her mom head to the river. The water there is filthy and loaded with bacteria. The water from the river looks red. It smells muddy. We boil it, but it still makes us sick. They have time for one trip in the morning before Faya goes to school. In the afternoon, Faya was so thirsty, she also drank water from this muddy canal. By the time she got home, she was sick. It felt like I had insects inside my stomach. It hurt so much that I was scared I was going to die. I was afraid I would lose her. I begged my neighbor to lend me some money, and I took her to the hospital. CBN discovered the family's need and dug a well for Faye and her mom. Those moments after the well was capped became a time of celebration as everyone got to taste the water. It was so clear and delicious. The first time I tasted it, I feel so happy. Then we gave Faya and her mom a cow to raise and seeds to plant a garden. With plenty of fresh water from the new well, the vegetables quickly grew and provided a great harvest. Now, Faya and her mom have income when she can't find work with other farmers. I love our new garden and cow so much. I will never forget what CBN did. Thank you forever. You know, the thing I noticed most when I first saw this was how ashamed her mom was, how downcast. And you know, the word says that Jesus is the lifter of our heads. At the end of this story, you see that she has new life. She has hope. She has a future. She's in a place of joy and believing and dreaming for goodness in her life. You made that possible, 700 Club members, and we say thank you, not just for Faya and her mom, but all the people who lived in that little village are being blessed by your generosity. We say thank you. It is such a gift to be able to give clean drinking water to people and you make it possible. We say thank you. Go to your phone and call right now. We're in the middle of a challenge. You know what that means? When you call at any level that you give at, everything you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So we want to say, let us hear from you right now. Let's make our giving go twice as far. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. We'd love to hear from you at this moment. Gordon? Well, it's impossible for most of us to imagine the kind of trauma a boy like Nora Dean has already endured in his young life. His family fled the comfort of their home in Syria to escape ISIS, and now they live in a refugee camp with just the barest of necessities. 
Plus, Nora Dean had a, has a disability that makes him the brunt of bullies. In the refugee camp where his family lives, Nora Dean walks alone. The other kids don't want to play with him because he was born with a deformity of his tongue and has trouble speaking. He came home crying all the time because the other children laughed at him. Even the adults teased him. He hated the whole world. And that made me cry too. Nora Dean's mother told me that after escaping the bombings of the Civil War in Syria, their family came to the Bekaa Valley in Lebanon with next to nothing. The Lebanese government keeps us from moving. We can't find good jobs, but still have to pay rent. We never lived like this, and we could never save enough money to help Nora Dean. Then Heart for Lebanon, which is supported by CBN, went to Nora Dean's camp and met his family. When we found out about the problem with his tongue, we paid for the surgery he needed. I was so excited. After the surgery, I could speak normally. The other kids noticed right away, and that made me really happy. Nora Dean now goes to school at the Heart for Lebanon Hope Center, where he's excelling at math, Arabic, and English. I love coming to school because I get to learn about new things and the teachers take good care of us. I also get to play with all my friends. When I heard Nur Din speaking better after the surgery, I thanked God. He is so happy now. Seeing him going to this fantastic school is amazing. Because of the war, my children missed so much school, but now they are learning again and doing great. The kids at the Hope Center also get to watch Superbook in Arabic. I really like hearing new Bible stories. I go home and tell them to my family and talk about how Jesus loves us. Every day I thank God for taking care of us and for sending his son to take away my sins. CBN and Heart for Lebanon give food every month to Nora Dean's family and thousands of other refugees. I can't imagine what we would do without Heart for Lebanon and CBN. I really love them. I get excited knowing there are people out there who care about us. Thank you for helping me and my family. I love you. It's amazing what happens when people get together to say, yes, we care enough to give. We want to be a part of it. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. We just finished a $140,000 challenge, and we are, uh, have a wonderful victory to report. Against that, you gave a hundred and eighty-three thousand. Wonderful. We leave you these words from Proverbs. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and He will repay you. For all of you that called and gave, God bless you. We'll see you again.